Hello everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14, and welcome back to more of the World of Magic. So, last time we got a, a level up, that's right, level 14, and we also got some gifts from, you know, Cap Captain, Captain Puka, yeah, but, um, alright, I mean, I cut this early, seriously, but yeah, I'm probably gonna have to be cutting that, because I'm not gonna be showing that, basically just going around to the Black Trader, you know, looking for whatever, I'm not even gonna talk about it, okay. So, now that we've done... Okay, well, let's see, I'm trying to think here what exactly we're going to be doing. Um, okay, we're going to search mushroom, because we want, no, no, not dried mushrooms, okay, or we're not going to get high on the mushrooms, no, no, mushroom bags, that's what we need. So I'm going to buy, I'll buy two of them, the other ones are 12,000, that's too much, uh, I'll buy these for 10,000, these sell for as low as like 8,000, you know, but 10,000, whatever, I guess it's like the average, maybe. But yeah, I've seen them as low as 8,000. I think maybe even 7,000 at one point, but I'm not entirely sure on that. But yeah. Okay, so this. And I think we are... Let me see. We got pirate coins there. Level 14, we could use those still, because at level 15 is when the experience starts to just be one. You know, like you just get one experience, which is pretty bad, yeah, you know. But between, level, between levels 11 through 14, it's usually a good idea to be giving the pirate coins to um whatever his name is I don't know I'm gonna put this though 11,000 is the price that I always put them I don't even look at the market I always sell them for 11,000 sometimes that's like the average so it takes a while to sell them sometimes that is the lowest point you know so but I mean like 95% of the time it sells when I put it for 11,000 like seriously it just sells that much so yeah pretty good now um Gonna go ahead and move all these bags around here just to make some room, you know. So let's see, we're gonna put spider silk right here, pirate coins right here, recall scrolls right here, old feathers, and I'm gonna put like the food over here or something. And then, yeah, so I think that's good, I think that's pretty good. So let's go, um, over here. Obviously, we're not gonna be fighting whoopas and rupas anymore to be training because, I mean, come on, why would we? Instead, it's a better thing if we... What, what the hell? This a dead person. Um, okay. Anyways, um... I'm trying to think here. Hold on. Well, you know what? First things first. Come here. Exchange these. So let's see. 12.52... 13.93. So almost 1.5% by a set of... It's 1.43% by every set of 10 pirate coins. At level 14, you get even more in the earlier levels, you know? Because, I mean, come on, you need less experience to level up, thus it looks like it's giving you more. It's giving you like the same, I think, but you just need less, which is why the percentage boost is bigger. But, okay. Let's see, we're going to... Yeah, I'm just going to go inside the lighthouse, why not? Going inside the lighthouse because um, we're going to be training there. Finding some testing whoopers, pretty much, I think. Hmm, there's some people here. Okay, well, whatever. I am just gonna go through to the top to the lighthouse. So here we go Okay, right in here Going up and right over here to the sealed to call the sealed stone sealed stone go in and we are back in the first floor Yes, we are We have been here before in this playthrough, but only for like a few minutes Because I realized yeah, it just wasn't beneficial, it just wasn't, like, it was taking a long time to kill them, they were doing much more damage to me, plus their drops are not as great, um, hello there, at level 14, okay, I'm not gonna be fighting two at the same time, and, uh, I don't know why you did that face, okay, uh, damn it, but another testing loop is over, you know what, fine, I'll just kill you, um, alright, there we go, I'm getting some good deadlies, pretty good, pretty good, okay, let's go, so how much are these giving me? Um, yes, really, yes. Yes, I am level 14. Fighting level 15 enemy with his longsword. Okay. So yeah, let's see how much they're giving me. Oh, I didn't even see again, god damn it, okay. Alright, 15 points are right, okay. So let's see. Wait, is that an 8? I can't even see. This damn thing is so small, not oh my god. Wait a minute. Okay, I think it went up to... Alrighty. 
Okay. So I had to take care of something. Yeah, alright. But anyways, um... Hold on. I was, oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Just whatever. Yeah, so we're up to 23.47. Alrighty. And, um... Hurry up, bread. God damn it. Alright, there we go. There we go. So, of course, we're gonna do some hemorrhage and some wild swings, the usual stuff. But hey, at least we're one level away from slam finally, the slam rage combination. But again, I don't know if I level 15 or 16 or 17, you know. The slam rage combination is better than just spam spamming slam and not using rage, because again, rage is significantly. Um, how, how should I say it? It's it has limits. It's very limited on what it can do, because it's going to cost you all your rage crystals, and you know it's going to be kind of difficult to build back up, even with the criticals, you know. By the time you build back up, a good three seconds or so are going to be used up, so you only have like two seconds of spamming. That's going to be crazy, so, you know. But again, by level twenty, you get access to one more rage crystal, so you have four. Just overall making it better for the spamming of slam, you know. Alrighty, I have to do another cut because this time I have to take care of something. Jesus, okay, so many freaking, um, what should I call them? Annoyance stuff, I don't know. But, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to kill this testing Wubo right here, of course. Yeah, because, you know, I think it makes, oh, let me see, how much? 20, yeah, about 35, like almost 40% or something? I mean, not 40. 0.40, Jesus, okay. 0.40%, I, at least I think so, okay, but there's some bread again. Some bread healing. And, um, I guess I'm going to use some hemorrhage and some, yeah, I mean, you, you know, if you couldn't already guess, yeah, I'm gonna use some hemorrhage and some wild swing, of course, because, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's why sometimes I just say super obvious things that don't even, um, oh, look at that. Ooh. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at those. They are, oh my god, they're the most garbage. Zero hit rate, yay, oh my god. Well, I know what I'm doing with that. I know exactly what I'm doing. You wanna know what I'm doing? I am, whoa. I am going to, I am going to extract magic from the sturdy leather, um, whatever the hell they're, yeah, stir, how did I forget? Okay, sturdy leather gloves, that's right. I'm gonna be extracting magic from those because these gloves will not self-weigh anything, and yeah, I remember way back in the beginning of the other playthrough, how I was saying that, um, uh, you know, like, gloves with zero hit rate or one or even two are pretty useless, they're not gonna sell. You know, the, even if you put it for 5,000, they're not gonna sell, like, seriously. So I thought they were useless, you know, I would just sell them to an NPC, you know, that's what I would think to do. Just sell them to an NPC, because that's gonna be pretty much the best money you'll make, but no. If you actually extract magic, they turn into second cores. And second cores, each one would sell for about 3,000 each, maybe? Maybe 2,000 each at the lowest, but still, that's at least 4,000, and you're guaranteed to sell them, you know, whereas the sturdy leather gloves, most likely, you're still not going to sell them. You know, because, yeah, it just, well, I mean, come on. Uh, oh, look at this, look at this 30 plus player killing a flow of 14 noob in the lighthouse. Well, black, black name player, I should say. See, you guys were saying that in Caligo, the people weren't like that, but, I mean... Again, okay, again, there are exceptions. That being an exception, okay. I should keep telling myself, that yes, there's always exceptions, I mean, come on. And everything in life, there's exceptions, you know? Yes, there is. Okay, we're gonna sell this because it's not even gonna freaking sell in the Black Trader, or it's gonna take forever, and I don't wanna wait. So, yeah. This, this, I'm not gonna sell these gloves because I'm gonna have to extract. Alright, so, Palm Cocktail, and I think we're all done. I may have, okay, I may cut right there for a bit because I'm uh, too many just, you know, looking at items for whatever. Yeah, um, right, so we gotta go ahead and turn on our pet again. Okay. So, um, oh my god, that was a short video. I was gonna go back, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I should. Because, um, let's see, we're gonna be at up to 10 minutes barely. I might not even make the 10 minute thing, but I don't know what else to do. I mean, should, I don't really want to go back there and... I mean, I will do it right after this video, but in the same video, doing another cut to go all the way back there, and I don't want to, like, waste for teleport. Whatever. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.